Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm GamerBlade3366. Welcome back to the episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we helped a uh, group of Indians. I don't remember either of their names. I know... Uh, something flies? Eagles flies. Eagle flies. Okay, yeah. Helped him out and his friend. I don't remember his name. He didn't really mention it. But uh, now we're going to talk to Micah, and Micah has a plan on a, uh, yep. on a place we could stay, so. And this looks like a shithole. It really does. It looks like a shithole. Is, is this the place that we're going to stay, or? Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? You know who you're talking to. I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're... It seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it! He started! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. And take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> I really neither of these guys, to be honest. Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> A pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, Hunter. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Hold up here. So, wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. Two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead. Now take care. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. All right. I have to go up here, shit. Hold on. I would rather want my shotgun rather than that. Okay.
Oh shit. Oh, they know. That gun pull a lot faster. Naturally. Oh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Oh, shit. Why would you waste your cargo? My question. Because don't you need the dynamite? What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all. Drive this over to Bacchus Bridge, get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. Yeah! What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. Right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. I really don't like the way he talks sometimes. Uh, all right. Is talk to Miss Adler? Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do this. Forget Adler, right? Or Miss Adler right now. We are going to do this. This is the mission. Oh my god, if I didn't say yes to this. Oh, okay. 
Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna, it's gonna explain itself as soon as I get there, okay? So, uh, just give me, well, a second for you. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <laughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well on the other hand. Yes, I'm. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? A Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. All right, I have no clue what's up with that camera. That horse is shit, and uh, now we are gonna do our long journey. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the place. Okay, where the hell do I need to go? Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. You seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. Yeah, but uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Are you serious right now? He's stuck? 
Okay, there we go. Okay, sir. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, sure. I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Oh. Herbs. For my cough. Which this is on that horse. Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Anyways, this is what uh, I good. There was no need to harm them. Anyways, uh, there. That is what I wanted to. Or this is kind of like explaining itself. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan, but don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. But this is what uh, I was telling you guys, and that's what uh, we need to. Do is help this guy out and he'll give me herbs How much you so know that about Dutch? A little... I can be cured. Mostly what Charles told me for years. He was the best man I knew. But sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. That's I need. We'll be growing down here. All right. You can interrupt me all you want. Just get me cured. Holy shit, he just <laughs> he just ate Sheriff. <laughs> he just ate shit. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. English mace. Let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off, but... Is your arm okay? He's been unraveling for some time now, and... I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. So why do you stay? I'd have been dead by 18 if it wasn't for him. He never gave up on me. It ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And... Got all my money. It sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. I don't know why he's getting involved with Eagle Flies, but the two of them together, it's gonna be a problem. It already is. So, what are you suggesting we do? The two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there and see if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me yet. Mm. Arthur's son? You know, I had a son once. 
Here's your wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. God, I wait, he has a son. Damn it, now I'm cur now, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. He has a son? This will Wait, Arthur's cold, hold on. Is this it? Yeah. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Alright. Alright, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, as I was saying, you know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother. Isaac Eliza, Clark? Was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him and shot him dead. Off Holy $10. shit. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. I had to. I don't know. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that. You can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. Okay, so I got uh, my I sickness. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right, I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanit- It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be! What? No! Oh shit, they burn it down? Is somebody burned down? Only know. To find the who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Flask. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. Okay. Let's continue on. I have some stuff up. More drinking. There's some whiskey here. Okay. Some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. More over here. All right. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa.
Another bottle. Or a flask. Listen. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. This is a place of peace. Looks like you found something. Quick, Mr. Morgan. There's someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? Yes. The question? Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Oh. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. I'll try okay, to that's sure the key. That they never even know I'm there, but... Actions don't always go the way you plan. Okay, that's the key. We can't We can't hurt anybody. That's the key. So we need to get down there and only use this the rope. And I also read on there they're pretty blind, so uh it'll be pretty easy. Blind and deaf because I guess it's, like, extremely easy to, like, sneak. Like, you don't even need to sneak. You just walk in there and take it. Okay, here we go. That's the problem. When Roe went to West Point, Favors never made it. Yeah. I'm sure. Engines. Just seems so silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Cares. Okay, it's this right here. My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. Come up near the Canadian What's border that? someplace. Sam sisters. They got Indian. Mm. Hey, I heard so. You ain't hear shit because I'm out. I am out. That's how easy it was. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We did it! I almost got caught, but we did it. Alright, so now I heard we're gonna get something cool out of this. It's a little bit, a little bit more, Arthur. I know. Here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done, well done. 
I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. A bracelet? Thank you. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. All right, we did it. All that for a bracelet. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. All right. Oh wait. Let's see what it is. Is it a break? Old feather trinket. Permanently reduces health, stamina, and dead eye core drain speed by fifteen percent. It's a rare legendary animal part. Okay, now. Let's mix this shit together. I know the thing. So, shit. <laughs> so it looks like I need to get a recipe. From said, uh, you know. Like a chest or something? For some reason, I, I didn't get the actual thing from the dude so now I have to get the recipe note thing so I know how to make it and it's up on that hill okay now I gotta stay calm over here and this should be it Search the chest. Huh, I got a necklace. No, not that. Damn it. Over here. Let's see. Chin recipes. Special health care pamphlet. Read. All right. Flip over anything. All right. So now, holy shit! No, 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 no. no. Damn it. That was supposed to be a whole lot smooth. That was supposed to be a whole lot smoother than what that was. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, after hours, not hours, but like, it, it feels like hours, cook. There it is. Crap. Let's cure Arthur. Craft faster. Burn my hand. Use the item.
Should be fine now. He should be doing good. Only the effects will show up automatically, but he should be fine now. He should be 100% if this is actually the cure. If this is actually the cure. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, we will... I was about to just end the episode right there, but uh, we will talk to John Marston next episode. I was going to talk to uh, Miss Adler, but I'll just do that next episode. Maybe in the same episode as John, but uh, yeah. We cured Arthur, so he should be fine. Hopefully. But uh, yeah, anyways. In the meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution.